We are actually heading for today's section and it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to seeing everyone. We are going to concentrate a lot today on ball. As of tomorrow, and we'll begin with uh, some physical and endurance. So looking forward to seeing you there. And I hope you prepare. Machine or else you're going to die. I'm sure you're going to die. When I say this, you're going to, you're going to die from the training. You're going to do it until you get tired. And I don't care. I would like to see you do it until all your tongue is hanging out. But the more you do it, the more you do it, the better you become. It is your own benefit. Do it or leave it. That's the motto. It's head like pirates. Looking forward to Only first. Only for these two weeks. Tashir eating before training. Always eating. Always oh, eating. Look at this <laughs> 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 Who's talking about eating? I can do. Corby. Come on, you can never stop hustling. Hey, YouTube. I'm just hustling. Yeah. You just caught me in the moment. Today we've got training. Chad is doing this little kind of warm up training before he really gets into the session tomorrow. Today we've had a really productive day in terms of getting new stuff set up around the house. So, show around, show around. First of all, you guys saw that wing mini thing that I did the other day. Now we've got it with the basketball. Baller, all this stuff that I picked up from Brixton. It's here. Brixton. It looks cool. Brixton, yeah. Brixton, south of London, really cool place. And wait, wait, wait. Lightning bolt. It looks awesome already, but when it when it's dark in here, it's gonna be more awesome and when Corby's doing the skin. That's look, looking cool. So the fact that house is really coming together, it looks great. Foundation of everything that we do. And it starts with having a really cool house. Okay, let's Move go train. So let's go train! Yes! Wait, we have to show off your haircut. No. Turn the camera around. You know, oh man, look at this. You're not happy about it. Bro. Like, Where'd you go? Yeah. Uppercuts? Uppercuts. And, cut. Like, and what, did you, what, 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 what do they do to your head? Yeah, they cut me. They cut. Look at, look at this. Oh, look no. at that. Like, that's not, that's not okay. <laughs> Okay, go, <laughs> <laughs> this is what training is all about. Fast pace. Good technically. See, look at that switch. Everyone working, everyone working. Creating space, talking, everything. Hustling, two touches. <laughs> we have to leave soon, but watching this, seeing this just... It makes me hurt to leave. It's just so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, gets in. Ah! Corby's sick. Yeah, Corby's really good. I told you. Let's see what they do. Look at his run. See? Look at his run. Move up. He should have run. Down the line. It's brilliant. Let's go. Chadi, what do you think of your first day training with them? Sick. Amazing. Much higher level than what you're used to, yeah? Yeah. Or what's around you? More fun. Faster. Faster. And. That's what I love about this. Now that Chadi says it, I realize it as well. When I came here, I wasn't usually playing at a high, like fast, fast level. But England, man, and all these players are used to playing at a high tempo, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant, right, Chadi? Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? You can laugh now. <laughs> yeah, there are club looking for players like you guys. You know, it just need the push. And so, if you come here, guys, I, I just urge you guys to put in whatsoever you're doing and make the effort and do everything that you can. Oh, you see a small game here? It's the same when you go in the Premier League. It's just the same kind of play. So when you get used to such play, you go out there in the big club, you're going to be perfect. We're not going to stay here forever. Uh, as you see, it's getting darker now. We're going to be going, uh, finding a field. I think the guys are already working on that. And move the training up towards the city. You know, at least twice a week. We're going to have a game this Friday. It's going to be a futsal. We're playing against uh, yeah. the futsal team in the National League. Yeah, they're playing in the National League. So. Like they've got a lot of Brazilian players too. But, but it's good. But it gives you an idea what to do. You know, like all the small drills that we're doing here, passing, you know, moving. So it, it's all required that in that. In that. So you're going to play with, like, uh, you know, flat, you know, flat shoe. You're, you're going to be, if you come, you're going to be famous. You know? Yes. You're so it's going, be, it's going to be recorded. We're going to put it on the YouTube. We're going to put everything there. <laughs> This is the start of it all, you know? Yes. Because, because we can only do a futsal five against five because we don't have the numbers yet. Yeah. But as soon as we start getting 10 or 15 consistently yeah. and decent quality players, if we have that, then 
with an effective brand and everything. There are a lot of people in London that know what we're doing now, especially in clubs yeah. too. And it's quite because we got this kind of brand going. It's quite. It's not too hard to like organize a game against pretty good opposition. Exactly. Um, because a lot of people support our story and everything. So if you guys keep coming, we keep doing numbers, then we can very easily organize one of these games. You know, 11 v 11 against like a really good side. And that's that's what we're doing. That's the whole reason we're here in London is to build the platform. You know. So you're from the states. Olu and Promise, I met in Regent's Park, but London, yeah, German, whatever. We started something big. We're going to be playing against some famous clubs or whatever. And from there, we're going to invite people to come and see you. And we'll make recommendations for, you know, for some of you guys who will, you know, show progress so that uh, you can meet your dream. So thank you again for coming. And we're looking forward to seeing you again. We are here every day. Exception is just uh, Saturday and Sunday. So see you guys tomorrow and thank you for coming again. Good section, eh? Everyone get game brains, very good. Helps with the man. What um videos did you watch from the game? Deli Ali. He's moving. The one with Tom Cooper. Yep. His movement's amazing, man. It's in the best. So Martian, when you come to the training here, whatever you do there, I don't know, you go in your room to cry. Cry there all you can, but when you come here, it's a serious business. Okay? You will train until you sweat. You sweat. Okay? You have to believe that. Yeah. This is Moses is serious. So, there's no joking here, you know. I'm so sorry that it's getting dark now. He's bringing back the. Yeah. He's bringing back 2003. Yeah. <laughs> what? I love his hat though. Yeah, it's it's hat with a do rag. Do rag. Yeah. It's what? Do rag. Do rag. Do me rag, baby. I had you just ended up being in London, so I was like, oh, I should hit up Nick. But your videos definitely inspired me. I mean, because like I was saying, like in the U.S., there's really no way out. Like, there's only the top players, basically. I ended up going to like get drafted in MLS and then play professional. And so I just knew that London was the place I had to go, even if I had to ever leave my family and make some sacrifices. You know, this is what I've always wanted to do. Like, a lot of people have told me like. When I was younger, it was always like, you're too small, like, you'll never make it. And I've always been like an underdog, but I've worked hard. And then now, look, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm halfway across the world talking to you. What? I know. Out here. It's crazy. A dream come but true. But for real, it just, it just goes to show, like, this is the first time where my hard work's paid off. And, like, I'm really living my dreams. Like, I worked so hard for this. And yeah. now I'm here in London. Like, I got myself to London. Just, just all off football, you know? So it's just like, this is the first step. And after that, you know, one day that professional contract, you know, it's only a few years away. I love that. I appreciate it. Find my car lights on the pitch until I finish what I need to finish, you know? <laughs> like oh while everyone God. was out like at football game like American wow. football games, I was just inside like training this, every day. This you know? sounds like Hashir. Yeah. What, what Hashir would do. Hashir yeah. would go train in the car park at two AM. And YouTube, remember? So you you're in the WhatsApp group. Hashtag German boy. <laughs> That's it. Today was a uh, promise, also from Germany. You know the last you? time was a yeah. hero. Three German boys here in the effective fam. <laughs> it's evening in the effective house, and we just got the match on. We got Arsenal versus West Brom. But more interestingly than Wayne Rooney, what's up, Wazza, holding a basketball is his cheese. What? Look at this cheese. Sweden's finest cheese, hand delivered by Chaddy who's actually off at the Arsenal match right now. He's over there. But we got, apparently what's the finest cheese in Sweden. And um, Chaddy's mom has delivered this to us. Look at this big block, man. How are we gonna, look at this. It's a big wheel of cheese. And we're all gonna taste it. So, let's give this a taste test. For all the Swedish people out there, comment. Is this a good cheese or not? So big. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. To complement this cheese, Chani has bought these for us, some sort of cracker, and he's going to complement the cheese. So let's give this a taste. Effective food tasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
sauce, Jason. It's good! Mmm! What do you think, Marcia? Good? 